In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create dashed lines and how to get the gaps in between dashes. To create the line across the center of the road, we're going to use the pen tool. So make sure that no layers are selected in your timeline. Come up here and click on the pen tool icon or use the keyboard shortcut G. Make sure you turn the fill off. So we'll click on the word fill and just click on this red diagonal to turn the fill off. Make sure the stroke is on. I'm just going to come down here. I'm going to click once to create a point. I'm going to hold the shift key to make sure we get a straight line. I'm just going to click a little bit off the canvas here. And now we have ourselves a straight line with the shape layer selected. Come over to the align panel. Make sure that align layers is set to composition. Then just click on the horizontal center. I'll come up here and change the stroke weight to 20. I'm also going to change the stroke color. So, I'll just click on this color swatch. I'm just going to change it to this yellow. So it looks like the stripes in the middle of a road. We could also change those properties down here. But now I'll show you how to add the dashes and the gaps. So to do so, we're just going to twirl open the shape layer, twirl open contents. Then twirl open shapes, then we're looking for this right here, stroke one. So, I'll twirl that open. To create dashes on this stroke layer, all you have to do is come down here to dashes and click on the plus symbol. After Effects will automatically create dashes in that stroke. And the trick to creating a gap is to click the plus symbol for dashes one more time. You'll notice right here there's no mention of gap, but when you click the plus symbol one more time, now you will see the gap property. Change the dash and the gap properties to get the size and the spacing exactly how you want them. And to change the position, use the offset property to get the dash lines just right. And this will work with the shape tool as well. I'll just come up here. I'll select the ellipse tool. I'm just going to drag out the circle. I'll hold the shift key to make a perfect circle here. Now I'm going to come down here. I'm going to twirl open contents. I'm going to twirl open ellipse one. I'll twirl open the stroke one. We'll come down here to dashes. We'll click on the plus symbol to add the dashes. We'll click on the plus symbol one more time to add the gaps. And now I can control the gaps in between that circle.